Um Bilal says, if makeup products are not halal, then can we pray after applying those products? Or what if we apply after uh, performing ablution or wudu? See, using makeup, generally speaking, it's halal. Now, if you know for certainty that there is an ingredient in it that makes it haram, it becomes haram. Doubts do not count. So many times people send us emails and, and messages and posts that using toothpaste is haram because it contains pork. Drinking soft drinks is haram because it's made of uh, 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 the skin of pork. It's, where did you get this information? Reliable sources. This doesn't work like this. If you're certain, then it is haram. If not, then the default is halal. If I'm using this pen, one says, Sheikh, the, some, one of the ingredients in the ink used in this is the blood of Muslims from uh, uh, so-and-so country. A'udhu Billah, I'm not going to use this. What is the evidence of this? Uh, he said that. He said is, is not sufficient. Show me evidence that can stand in a court of law. So makeup in general is okay. Now, if someone claims that there is this so-and-so haram ingredients and you're sure and certain of it, you cannot apply it. Whether after salat or before uh, wudu or after wudu. Because buying it, because of its haram ingredients, is haram. People ask me, can we wear uh, uh, shoes made of pork skin? Why would a Muslim do that? He said, I'm not going to pray in it. Akhi, buying such skin or such shoes made of such skin is prohibited. Buying such skin is, is not permissible in Islam, let alone wearing it. So if the makeup, you are certain that it contains haram ingredients, you should not buy it. Hence, you must not use it. But if it's just speculations, if they say that it includes glycerin or such um, products that undergone rigorous process of changing their physical and, and, and chemical uh, attributes until they change into a new substance. In this case, this is halal and Allah Azza wa knows best.